Excuse me. Hello? Have you got a minute? Well, this is important. We need your help. Imagine you're traveling in space. You're looking for intelligent life. You've been traveling for a while because space is very sp spacious. You've already spotted millions of planets with no life at all. Lots of acid, lava, that sort of thing. But nowhere you'd go for your holidays. And then you see it. Earth. A tiny island in space. A little speck of water, rock and soil with a thin veil of air that we can breathe. There might be life out there in space, but here on Earth, it's everywhere. On the land, in the water, in the air. Plants, insects, birds, fish and every type of living creature. Some beautiful, some, frankly, a, a bit weird. And people, billions of people like you and me. You know, beautiful, reasonably intelligent life. Well, I'm just saying. In most ways, we're just like the rest of life on Earth. We start from tiny seeds, and with the right conditions, we grow and mature. To do that, we all need the same basic things. No, not mobile phones, trainers and Facebook, but fresh water, clean air, and healthy food. Without those, we don't last long, no matter how smart our phones are. The good news is that Earth has enough for all of us. The bad news is we've got some serious problems in our way. The first is climate change. The way we're living on Earth now is damaging the very things we need to live. The fuels we burn are choking the atmosphere with gases we can't breathe. We're running out of clean drinking water, but some of us waste it on things that we don't need. And all of this is changing the weather, and that's not even the half of it. The second problem is inequality. Some people on Earth have far more than they need, and most people don't have nearly enough. Many live in terrible poverty. It's just not right. Millions of people are unable to get medicines or healthcare that could stop them from getting sick, or cure them if they do. In some places, children complain about having to go to school. In others, millions of children can't go to school at all. Is that fair? The thing is, we're causing these problems. So we can fix them too, if we all work together and get creative. Let me explain. If you think about it, all living things have superpowers. Birds can fly. We can't. Dogs can smell things we can't, which is not always a bad thing. Plants absorb gas that we can't breathe and turn it into air that we can. But human beings have a power that other creatures don't. We are the most creative creatures ever. Our heads are full of ideas and we're great at making things too. And with that power, we've already changed the world over and over and solved thousands of problems. So, now we can do it again. The good news is, we have a plan. A plan that can only succeed with your help. There is one organisation in the world that represents the people of 193 countries. And it's entirely dedicated to keeping us peaceful and working together. You may have heard of it. The United Nations. They have just announced the Global Goals for Sustainable Development. These are 17 goals to protect the planet against climate change and make the world safer, fairer and more just for everyone. We have to achieve these goals by 2030. The great thing about a plan is that we can check how we're doing as we go along, give ourselves a pat on the back if we do well and try harder if not. 2030 isn't so far away, so we need to start right now. There's a lot we can do if we work together and get really creative. We can start by making these goals famous. So find out what they are and tell everyone. And ask everyone to tell everyone else. <laughs> then, and this is the exciting bit, see if there's something practical you can do to actually help. If we don't waste food, water or electricity, that would help protect the planet. If we all stick up for people who aren't being treated fairly and respect each other's human rights, that would make a big difference too. There are 17 goals altogether. So, lots of different ways in which you can help. We also need some new ideas and new ways of doing things. What if being a girl or a boy made no difference to how safe you feel, the friends you have, or the places you could go? What if we found new ways to make water clean and drinkable? What if we could recycle all of our waste? 
What else do you think we could do? We all live on Earth, and we depend on the Earth to live. We have so many different cultures, but we only have one planet. If we take care of it and each other, and share what we produce fairly and sustainably, everything we need is right here. Someday, we may find intelligent life on other planets. In the meantime, let's see how intelligent we can make it down here for all of us. At home, on Earth, 